Right guys, so behind me I've got the tandem bike which I bought last week. I've done a video about buying and collecting it and trying to ride the thing. From everyone's comments, I'm definitely going to go down the electric route. Um, but today's going to be about can it be converted. I think anything can be converted to electric with endless supply of money. I gotta do it, man. And time, but I'm impatient and... Ain't nobody got time for that! So... We're going to see what we can do with what I've got laying around, so... I had a little look around my shed and I found... What is this? 26 inch... I don't know if you can see there. There's actually teeth missing off of the uh, cassette. But, I don't know. If it fits, we can replace the cassette later or just not use the gears. So. That's a possibility, that's a free option. Yeah, so basically two things. One, can I get a hub wheel, an electric hub wheel to fit on the um, rear dropouts of this bike? A lot of not so beefy bikes have got like 130 mil dropouts and I think the dropouts for that 2000 watt wheel is 145 mil. I don't care if I have to bend the frame a little bit to get the wheel in, if I can get it working, I can get it working. Number one problem is getting a wheel to fit, so that's what I'm going to have a crack at now. The second thing I envisage is that some of the wiring is going to have to be extended. Whether it's the display and the throttle, I'm going to have to cut and splice some cables because as you can see, this thing looks about 10 foot long and um, I don't think the standard wiring harness is going to have enough cable, we'll see. First things first, if I can't fit the electric wheel, this isn't going to happen, it ain't going to work. So, just get the wheel off and just see if it fits. Try and get an attack by insects. Um, yeah, let's get the wheel off. Let's see if we can get this electric hub wheel on. If that works, we're halfway there and it's a possibility. in the dropouts before building the wheel. Right, okay. The back wheel was in the dropouts, however, there's no spaces in it whatsoever, so there's like literally no spaces on the cassette, so the cassette's jammed up against the dropout and it's tight. Um, to be honest, I probably only need about a millimetre or two each side of spacers. It doesn't matter, even if it's five millimetre, I can bend the dropouts out enough to get this back wheel on, so I'm going to take the back wheel out now, put the spacers in, put an inner tube and tyre in, and try and get it securely in the dropouts. Damn it. If you can see that on the camera, just notice a massive gaping hole in the side of the tyre. <sighs> Should I just be a complete bodge and just leave it? I mean, I love a bodge, but the inner tube hanging out of the back of a tyre on a 2000 watt tandem is probably even a little bit past my kind of sketchiness, so I'm gonna whack the original shitty candle back on it. Oh, here we have the drop out. Here we've got the drop out when it focuses. Nicely fitted on one side. The other side. So yeah, so as you can see, 
on this side the dropout is here and that's the difference that is the difference between the frame and the dropout it's pretty horrendous but I'm going to see what we can do about it Okay, so the uh, back brain back brake is binding a little bit, but oh, ouch, my leg! Yeah, that should be fine. There she is. Now I'm going to need to put a torque arm on this back wheel. Um, there's loads of little things I need to do. These V-brakes are rubbing and probably pretty much pointless having. The phase cables reach all the way back to here. Don't know if the cables are going to need extending. I, don't, I hope they don't because it just means more work. But just look at it, what a beast. Look how long it is. How do you think it looks with a hub wheel as well? That's a 2000 watt, 48, 52 volt, whatever you want to put on it, hub wheel. So I've, managed, I've got to get a, a throttle on these bars and a display. The front brake caliper is rubbing. Absolutely crap, I might have to replace that. So at least I've got one good brake. But other than that, it's looking beastly. I think this is going to be quite a good little wagon once it's got the uh, electrics hooked up on it. What do you reckon? Right, just a quick one today, guys. I just wanted to check whether this back wheel actually goes on this bike, whether that's actually possible. Everything from here on out, I believe, is just a case of fixing brakes, making sure the electric cables are long enough to reach for the throttle and display and battery. Everything else is mechanical, brakes, and wiring. Um, hopefully in the next video, I might have this thing powering up. All I've got to do now is torque arm, battery controller, display, throttle, and brakes. We can try and get it running, not worry about the brakes, we'll see. But uh, yeah, anyway. Hope you liked the video guys, let us know if you're excited to see this bike finished and we'll show it in a part 2 of this electric conversion tandem video for this 2000 watt tandem. Like, comment, subscribe and catch you guys in the video soon, take it easy.